What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time tuning in, I'm CarGuy302. That's my 24 M3CS and in today's upload, we're gonna attempt to make that thing sound like a proper M car. I just so happen to have my carbon valve controller sitting around in the garage collecting dust since I last sold my previous M3. But today we're gonna get it installed and see what kind of difference it makes in the sound department. Now I understand it'll never ever sound like an F90 M5. The twin turbo V8 in that thing sounds amazing, especially paired with the AWE track exhaust. But our goal isn't to make it sound like an M5, we want it to sound like an S58. The best sounding S58 that you can have. And that's what we want on this channel. So let's jump to it. But before I do that, let's get a cold start on the M5 so you guys can hear that glorious V8. Then we're gonna get a cold start on the M3 so you guys can hear what that sounds like in stock form. So stay tuned. As I mentioned, there aren't too many cars that are available today that sound as good as this V8 twin turbo that they have in the F90 M5. Let's get a cold start on this bad boy. Nothing sounds like the F90 M5, man. Cold start with the AWE track exhaust. That thing sounds phenomenal. Now, you're going to be a little disappointed when I cold start the M3CS because it sounds nothing like that M5. But let's get this thing started up. guys heard it here first the m3 cs cold start has nothing on the f90 m5 but let's get this valve controller on here it doesn't take long to install super easy process uh, i'll link the video down below on the install that i did on my previous m3 so let's get this thing installed and see what kind of difference all right, it all makes. all you need to install the carbon valve controller with remotes is some zip ties double-sided tape a couple hand tools and obviously an m3 so let's get this party started. Let's jump underneath the M3 and see what's different on the M3 CS versus a traditional M3. As you guys know, we have the black tips. It's got the titanium rear section. As you can see, you got the M logo there. Looks like it's made by a company called Tenneco. We have the M logo there. Let's look underneath. As you can see, the rest of the exhaust systems like your traditional M3, this is the only part that's titanium is this rear section. And you can see they have clamps here to connect it. So that's the only real difference, titanium rear section, and they have clamps to remove the muffler. Other than that, it's just like any other M3 out there on the road. Now let's get this valve controller installed and see what this thing sounds like. The valve controller is installed, super easy install. Carbon valve controller plugs into your factory actuator. Your factory harness plugs into the valve controller. The wires are fed through this heat shield. The other harness plugs in here. And then I have all the wires tucked in this fender liner as well as the carbon valve controller unit itself. And again, we have the two remotes, uh, super cool, super easy install. So let's jump out from under the car and see what this thing sounds like. 
All right, let's get this thing started up and see what kind of difference it makes. Time to jump in this black beauty that you see behind me. Valve control was installed. Now let's go take it for a rip and see what it sounds like. There you have it folks. The carbon valve controller is installed. It took about 10 minutes out of our day and we took a step in the right direction in making that M3CS sound like a proper M car. The volume has increased. Whether you're inside or outside the car, it's definitely noticeable. Peak decibel reading with the valves 100% open or not was 115 decibels. So our overall volume didn't necessarily change whether you use the BMW algorithm to open the valves or you force them 100% open with the valve controller. But driving the car around, you definitely have more sound and that's what we want. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one.